Hey guys, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, y'all? Alex the Virgo Zodiac Game. We back with another video. Today's video is about why I have slits on my wrist, on my arm. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people, they always wondering why do I have slits on my wrist? You know what I'm saying? Am I suicidal? Um, has, did somebody do something to me? Stuff like that. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering this question so people can stop asking me about it. They want to know something about you, but they don't have the balls to ask you about it. They'll just sit there and like... Anyways, look, bro. I'm Alistair Virgo. Like and subscribe, and I just want to take the time to thank all my fans. I'm going to see y'all. Let's get it. This happened to me whenever I was in the seventh grade. Oh, hell no! My birthday is September 14th, for all you who don't know. So it was around September, early September. I want to say September 6th or 7th. And as a kid, my mom would take me and my sister on a lot of road trips. Like, we would always drive to, like, Pennsylvania, since that's where our family's from. Or we would drive to Savannah, Georgia a lot of the times. Or North Carolina. I guess my mom randomly decided she wanted to go on a trip to Pennsylvania. We went to Pennsylvania. So Pennsylvania from South Carolina, we lived in Somerville, South Carolina at the time, was about, I wanna say nine to 10 hours away from that exact location. Nine to 10 hour drive is not a short drive, y'all boy. Like if you ever drove in nine to 10 hours in a car, no stopping at no hotels, and you gotta pee in a cup. Also, let me tell y'all, bro, this same road trip, I believe, I peed in a McDonald's cup because we couldn't stop. And tell me why, I fell asleep. I woke up. I was thirsty as shit. Without thinking, I drunk from the cup. And I ended up drinking some of my own pee, bro. No word of a lie. But anyways, to finish the story, we were about, I want to say, four hours from Pennsylvania. We were in West Virginia. I don't know how far or close that is to Pennsylvania. I'll comment down below if y'all know. We were at a crossroad signs. I was asleep. My sister was asleep. And my cousin I was also riding with us was asleep. But my mom was up driving because, you know, she can stay up and drive that long. I don't know how. I fall asleep on car rides easy. I guess we were at a light, and it was our turn to pull forward and go. But the tractor trailer, because, you know, it's at night. It was like 3 in the morning. Maybe the guy was a little drunk, a little high, or maybe he was just out of it or just a complete dick. Who knows? He was driving forward when he wasn't supposed to be going at this crossroad, and we were supposed to be going. So we ended up T-boning this guy, and he was in a, a CDL 250,000 pound truck. You get what I'm saying? So when we ran into this guy in our Chrysler 300, our car was destroyed. Like we were literally went forward in the whole car. Our car literally looked like a transformer just got beat up. So we crash into this tractor trailer and all I hear is a, Ear! and I wake up, right? I wake up. I'm looking around me and I just see dust, bro. Um, my, my sister, is for some reason on top of me. She's like, I'm stuck underneath my sister. My cousin that was in the front seat on the right passenger side seat, he's crying, trying to get out the car, I guess, on the ground, laying on his stomach. My mom, she's just coming conscious as well, and she's like waking up. I look forward and the car's smoking and there's dust everywhere. My mom, she's trying to get help. She's yelling for people, telling people to come over, and she's trying to make sure me and my sister can get out the car before herself. That's crazy how my mom, like, when it came down to it, she was ready to save us first before herself. That's why I, I love her to death, and I'd do anything for her. But she was trying to get me and my sister out the car first. I'm yelling to tell my sister, like her name, my, my sister's name is Saya. I'm like, Saya, get up. Get up, because my arm was hurting. You get what I'm saying? My arm was hurting. So I'm telling Saya, I'm like, Saya, get up. Get up. Saya, get up. I'm trying to tell her to, like, get up, because my arm, she's killing my arm right now my arm feels terrible because like i guess in the crash since she i don't know if she had a seatbelt on or if she was wearing it weird but she went flying to the right and like landed on me so you know i'm telling her to like get up i'm trying to tell her to get up get up get up and eventually these people come that were on the road as well and they cut me and my sister out from our seat belts we get out the car my sister she's laying on the ground holding her stomach my mom I don't even remember where my mom was at, but I know they helped her out the car eventually too because we all thought the car was about to blow up on some Fast and Furious timing. I noticed my arm is limp, so I'm looking down at my arm, and the paramedics just arrived, and, you know, they can't really, they really can't attend to me because um, I'm trying to attend to my cousin and my sister because both of them were holding their stomachs like something was going on with their intestines. 
So I'm just holding my arm and it's limp. It's not moving at all. I thought my arm, like my arm was limp. It wasn't doing anything at all, but it was hurting. I felt this sharp pain. So I'm just like pacing myself back and forth because I really feel like my arm's broken or something like that. I'm pacing back and forth. I'm pacing back and forth. And the paramedics just trying to calm me down. And yo, this bitch ass lady kind of was like, yo, you ever broken something before? It's making it seem like I was being a little bitch. Was I? I don't know. That shit hurt though, nigga. And a helicopter came and picked up my sister and my cousin because it came to find out after giving them x-rays that they both had a ruptured small intestines that needed to be removed. Since the seat belts, when they were in their seat belts, that initial jerk forward ruptured their whole small intestines, both of them. So they both needed immediate care because they had internal bleeding. Me, on the other hand, I think the paramedics, they didn't know the degrees of my injury, but since they thought it was just a broken arm, they didn't think it was that serious compared to theirs, which is fair and true. So I had to ride in the back of an ambulance for one and a half hours bro we get to the hospital and then i have to sit in a waiting room nigga for another 20 30 minutes then they finally put me in a mini hospital room and then i sit in a, that room for 30 minutes an hour my arm is just this shooting sharp pain it got so bad to the point where i, I hit the little emergency button on the hospital beds to get them to come and mess with my like i was like yo i need to like guys i'm i'm drowning over here you get what i'm saying so, and this all is in west virginia by the way Eventually, they talk to me and they tell me that they feel like my arm is broken. After doing initial x-rays, they said they wanted to see if they could put my arm back together without surgery. I don't even know how that works. But I guess what they said they wanted to do is they were going to try to like fiddle with it to put my bone back in a place where it was supposed to be. And then I probably just cast it and get it to grow back together on its own. Because upon initial x-rays, my arm literally snapped in half. Luckily, the bone didn't come out because here's what happened. I used to sleep like, imagine this is the seatbelt. I used to sleep like this for whatever reason in a car. I used to always sleep like this. Guys, do not sleep like that because... What initially happened is whenever the car went forward, I did this in my arm upon the impact and it snapped. And it also, since I had the seatbelt around me, I had to, this is where I got this scar from. Oh, maybe it cleared up. Oh, you can see it a little TT, but this right here, uh, the seatbelt initially uh, gave me a little scar on my uh, neck as well. And I also had a bruised lung. I had a bruised lung as well. But that don't really affect me too much, the bruise lung. So they put me on anesthesia and they try to put my whole arm back together. And that shit did not work. I literally woke up from anesthesia while they were doing it. I was singing Lucid Dreams by Juice World, and I threw up really bad all over their floor. I guess after they realized they weren't going to be able to put my hand, my arm back together with their two hands. Like, who do, do y'all niggas think y'all are Jesus crisis? Crisis in? Like, what the fuck? So after that, they said, all right, you're going to need surgery. So the next day, they set me up for surgery. This woman, she had to, like, clean my balls. I don't know why at the hospital they do that. But it's like, this lady came in and she scrubbed my nuts with water. And so, it was like, it wasn't uncomfortable. But it's just like, I feel like I could have, like, scrubbed my own nuts with one hand. I don't really need you to come and play with my nuts. But I go into surgery. Nigga, I'm scared as hell. Because they told me, they told me, if you see, like, my scars, they said that they have to... If it's one inch too close to the left or one inch too close to the right, they'll cut directly into a main vein in my arm and I could just bleed out really quick and die. So I was really scared actually going into the surgery. This is my first time ever having surgery on anything. But they had to put two slits in my arm so they could put metal rods in my arm to help guide my bone back to where it needs to be. So they used titanium plates. And they told me I could either keep them in or take them out. That was seventh grade year. After about six months, my bone finally grew back together. They said I could keep them in or keep them out. But mind you, I'm going through a growth spread at the time, and my arms are still growing. So if I keep the titanium plates in my arm, my bones aren't going to grow as much as they can because the titanium plates are going to be in the way. So one arm might be shorter than the other. Eighth grade year came by, and I really had no choice but to get them taken out of my arm. So they had to cut open my arm again and then take them out. But, yeah, and then, you know... I started playing basketball again, and I remember my arm doesn't really affect me too much, but if I hit my wrist on something too hard, it does feel a little tingly and weird. But, you know, besides that, yeah, my wrist does pretty high. You know what I'm saying? My arm, it still works and all that and this and that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not 
No, I'm not suicidy. No, I don't cut myself. And no, nobody's like with me or nothing like that. It's nothing like that for all you wondering. It's just from a crazy car accident. That's it. But look, anyways, bro, I'm Alistair Virgo, and I just wanted to bring out this quick video because I really like to be transparent with y'all and honest with y'all about my life story and what I've been through. And I really just like sharing myself with y'all because I can tell y'all enjoy these things. I like to know these things, and I love to share them. But anyways, look, man, I'm Alistair Virgo, the Zodiac Gang. I appreciate all of you dearly every single day. Keep being y'all. Keep manifesting what y'all want. Keep being who y'all are, keep loving yourselves, and keep doing the right thing and being great people. Anyways, though, look, I'm Malice Virgo. I'm finna go and edit these videos and post them for y'all. I'll see y'all next time.